Got some breaking news on Celtics today. Kristaps Porzingis has agreed to a two-year extension worth $60 million. Chris Haynes first to report right after free agency began about an hour or so ago. The Boston Celtics and Kristaps Porzingis are expected to finalize a two-year approximately $60 million extension. League sources tell TNT and Bleacher Report. We're going to talk a lot more about this on today's show, but first, make sure you are subscribed. We are covering all the moves made by the Celtics in NBA free agency, so hit that subscribe button below. Also, turn on your notifications. It's the best way to stay in the loop because free agency is about to get wild. I thought they might make a signing or two before extending Porzingis, uh, but they get that ex Porzingis extension out of the way right after free agency began. So KP has been extended a little over a week after being traded from the Washington Wizards in what was a wild day for the Boston Celtics. They, of course, sent Marcus Smart to Memphis in that three-team deal. Now, we knew that this was coming. We knew that an extension was going to happen. Uh, that was the plan, right? Porzingis opted in to his $36 million player option for this season to make the trade possible and the clock was ticking they got the trade done about what 10 or 15 minutes before the deadline in terms of him opting into that player option otherwise he would have been an unrestricted free agent so with him opting in he knew that he was going to get an extension from Boston I'm sure that Boston told his agent and told him yeah we're going to extend Porzingis just have him opt into this deal so we can make this three team trade possible again that trade sent Marcus Smart to Memphis and it sent KP to the Boston Celtics. He was officially introduced with the Celtics yesterday, extended today, right after free agency officially began. Grade the Kristaps Porzingis extension again. It is two years for $60 million. Now, uh, Trace, I might be going back to school, but that it's for sports law. It's not for math. So I'm very bad at math. So he's owed, what, $36 million this year. So basically, you have him under co club control for $96 million over the next three years now, so $32 million per per year the next three years for Kristaps Porzingis. Grade that. Type A, B, C, D, or F down in the comment section. Grade the Kristaps Porzingis extension. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when ad break comes, go down, chime in, grade the Kristaps Porzingis extension. I'm going to give it an A-. minus. The minus is because he hasn't played yet, right? I want to see him in the Celtics system, but I think he's going to be a great fit. I think he is going to lead the Celtics to banner number 18. I think it was a fantastic addition. Very difficult, very, very difficult to part ways with Marcus Smart, but you really need a big man. You really need a guy that could kind of stretch the floor at the four or the five. I think they're going to play Porzingis at the five, but it was a big need that you addressed here, getting Kristaps Porzingis to Beantown. Taking a look at the numbers here, 23.2 points per game last season with the Washington Wizards. And I think Kristaps Porzingis really proved his worth this past season. I think a lot of people will kind of have mixed feelings about this guy as a player, but he had a phenomenal season last year. 8.4 rebounds per game. He's pretty good defensively as well. Really good defensively. 1.5 blocks per game. 49.8% from the floor. 38.5% from three-point range. So that's what you add in Kristaps Porzingis, which is not something you had before, a big man that can shoot the three consistently. We saw Al Horford, who again is aging, which is another reason he needed to sign a big man. He was very inconsistent from three in the playoffs. Taking a look, again, at the last four seasons for Kristaps Porzingis, and again, I think this extension really comes because of how he did last season. I think he really proved his worth the year prior, 20.2 points per game. So this past season in Washington may have been the best season of Kristaps Porzingis' NBA career thus far. Going back to the trade, which again, it was a difficult decision to part with Marcus Smart. But this trade certainly could define the Brad Stevens era as the president of basketball operations in Boston. If this trade works out, you can raise banner number 18. Celtics are going to win it all. But if this trade doesn't work out, Marcus Smart uh, maybe helps Memphis make a playoff run in years to come, uh, then this trade could go down as a mistake. Do I think that's going to happen? No. 
And I love Marcus. I wish him well in Memphis. He was a great Celtic, nine years spent with the organization, loyal as can be. Uh, but you really needed a big man. You needed a big man that could shoot. He got one of Kristaps Porzingis. I do believe this trade is going to work out. And I believe the Boston Celtics are going to win it all next year. What's your one-word reaction to the Kristaps Porzingis extension? Let me know down in the comments section. Tingus Pingus is here to stay. Kristaps Porzingis locked up for the next three years in Boston. What's your one-word reaction to the Kristaps Porzingis extension? Uh, my one word is, is expected. We knew it was going to happen. Now, did I think it was going to happen an hour after free agency began? No, I thought it was going to happen maybe in a week or two. Uh, but the Celtics taking care of business earlier when you're talking about Chris Tops Porzingis. Here's how he fits on the Celtics roster right now. And I'm really fascinated to see what this roster looks like in a couple weeks when free agency is uh, all said and done. But you got Jalen Brown, Malcolm Brogdon, Chris Tops, Derek White, and Jason Tatum as your starting five right now. Now, Joe Mazzulla can get creative here. Maybe he wants to start Porzingis at the four, Robert Williams at the five, Porzingis at the five, Horford at the four. There's some different options, but I expect this to be the starting five. As for your bench, you got Peyton Pritchard, Sam Hauser, Jordan Walsh. I expect him to be the Grant Williams replacement. Grant Williams not on this screen because I do not expect him back in Boston. Al Horford and Robert Williams uh, probably both coming off the bench next year. Again, Kristaps Porzingis was introduced with Boston in Boston yesterday, uh, and he was asked uh, by Chris Forsberg on the NBC Sports Boston Celtics Talk podcast about replacing Marcus Smart uh, because those two names are going to be tied together forever because of this trade, right? Here's what he said. You cannot replace Marcus Smart, but I look forward to coming in here as myself and gaining the fans' trust. He also said, uh, that he's going to bring a lot of energy, a lot of effort like Marcus Smart did. So I thought that was a pretty good answer from Chris Stops Porzingis. Look, no one's expecting him to replace Marcus Smart, but obviously those two names are going to be tied together for a long time because of this trade, and Celtics fans are still getting over having to lose Marcus Smart in this deal, and, uh, you know, understandably so. Who do you want to sign? Let me know down in the comments section. Uh, there is an interesting name that has been linked here to Boston. Patrick Beverly has been linked to the Boston Celtics. He spent last season with the LA Lakers before he was traded to Orlando. He was bought out. Then he signed with the Chicago Bulls. I believe it was his first time ever not making the playoffs. The Bulls fell that short after they lost to the Miami Heat in the play-in game. But Patrick Beverly, man, I think he'd be a really good fit on this team. Brings a lot of energy, a lot of uh, physicality to your basketball team can kind of be a Marcus Smart replacement. He's not going to start. Brogdon would start. Pat Bev would back up Brogdon as the uh, number two point guard. But I really like the idea of signing Patrick Beverly. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and predict that the Celtics are going to get something done with him tonight. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll continue to have you covered here on Chat Sports. Again, it's my last day here at Chat Sports, but that team here at Chat's going to continue to have you covered with all the latest Celtics news and rumors, so make sure you're subscribed.